Hello and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and the current union energy going on between you and your Twin Flame. It's been a minute since I made a video. I was doing them like every day for a while and you know I felt called to take uh, basically like my business in a different direction not away from YouTube but just like uh, you know, my energy was kind of flowing in a different direction, basically. And um, now I notice that uh, making this video this evening, I feel really like um, extra, like pumped to just do it. Not like excited kind of energy, but just like, oh, okay, I want to make a video. Um, you know, I was just totally ready to do it. So that was kind of a fun thing to realize, like sometimes um, it's okay to lay off of something and know that it doesn't mean you're like leaving it or abandoning it if you're not you know if that's really not your intention and you're really called to something else sometimes actually like after a while it can turn into ego uh, or like just a something that becomes sort of like unhealthy to um, to take like what you're committed to the wrong way because like what's really the commitment here that I have is to show up for God and um, so the commitment like about like specific things that I'm committed to I am committed to them but I'm also open to that changing and so that's just an important um, lesson on your twin flame journey so I felt like sharing it. So yeah today I have the um, Angel Tarot by Doreen Virtue. And then I also have Eternal Crystals uh, by Jade Sky for the middle card, so I'm excited to save that one for last. We'll look at the crystal card last. So we're going to start with the Divine Feminine today, um, and her card is upside down, and we have, ooh, Three of Water. So a celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement, the need to have more fun. Um, yeah, so when this card comes up, it is an indicator that there is somewhere in your life where, you know, there might just be some energy that a little bit more lightheartedness and celebratory feelings are uh, encouraged. And maybe this is also speaking to even the holidays coming up. Um, I know that there is a twin flame wedding that I'm personally looking forward to. Uh, so this like kind of really resonates there and I, I think what it says like Also is to really take those kinds of things that you know are Sacred but are celebrated to take them seriously and when I say seriously like seriously celebrate and it doesn't mean like party hard or whatever it just means like you know really honor what um, what you're being called to do there and if something is like, you know, you're supposed to come over for Thanksgiving and that doesn't feel like, that doesn't feel good to you on any level, then is there a need for you to force yourself to do that? You know, I don't know how it's really going with the whole pandemic thing and Thanksgiving, like what the uh, social etiquette is there. I'm probably just gonna, you know, do my own thing, so, um, so I'm not really sure. but. Whatever the case may be for you, uh, I would really feel into that because I remember the first Thanksgiving that I spent without, well, actually it probably wasn't the first, but like the first one where I really kind of like pivoted and was like, yeah, this is, I'm done with this kind of stuff. Um, and it wasn't like anything against anyone or to rebel or try to make people feel like bad that I wasn't there. And I feel like saying that because you know, if that's your intention, I would I would look at that too. Like it's kind of like a kid, an angry kid hiding to see like when they'll get found, and that's sort of different. But um, you know, and you can have compassion for yourself because I've it's, I'm not saying I've never like done anything like that. I have, and but I recognize the pattern. And now, whenever I, you know that happens in any way in my life, like I don't I just don't choose that because that's not like that's not a divine way to be. But yeah, so uh, the point is, is that it you can actually have a really nice time just with God, 
um, with your twin flame, if you are with your twin flame physically, and if not, it's okay too. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Like, just do what honestly feels good to you because you can heal uh, how you feel about holidays if there's any kinds of feelings that aren't so good there. And that's actually really important to the peace that you're expanding for union. And uh, so, yeah, I just invite you to like look into that for yourself and how that all feels to you because if there's something that's like stressful that doesn't need to be there at all like you know why why is it in your schedule why is it in your plans um and then that frees up more time to celebrate right and this is three of water so it's very much about like a kind of trining of emotions which is like so very like peaceful nice foundation for uh, positive emotions is what I get from this um, specifically for right now. So we're going to move on to the Divine Masculine. And the Divine Masculine's card is, ooh, nice one. Uh, release, number 13, Archangel Azrael. Uh, the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So yeah, you could see how the Divine Feminine kind of has this, like, uh, point with, there's like another, like, just this kind of reaching even at more of a plateau, uh, in a nice way of, like, a height, but like a very peaceful height where you don't, like, there's no need to, like, kind of climb right now, um, but to kind of just celebrate that higher vibration that you are finding yourself in but then also root out any like so-called cracks in your foundation anything that's uh just not in alignment with where you're really at and the divine masculine then you can see like you know your part or his part depending on who you are watching this uh just like you can see how these things both play out like where the divine masculine it's a little bit more it's more of a pivoting energy, and it's very clear that something is is done with. And that's really a, a refreshing feeling to just, like, you know, have that cleared. So something's clearing for you, something is releasing, and that means that, uh, you know, new stuff is coming in to you as well. So that always feels really good. And it is making more energetic room for your union as well and for you know being able to really be present with your twin flame and with your whole life too and this can also speak very much so to life purpose and anything kind of like coming your way any new choices that you've made you can really probably see um, some shifts occurring now regarding all that so let's move on to the middle card and for the union card we have ooh good luck and it is upside down so I feel like that is just like you know extra emphasis on the middle card and uh, so yeah it's really about focusing on your heart right now and what feels good in your heart to do what feels peaceful I mean look at the color to this card it's very <clears throat> very calming I mean yes it's green for the heart chakra but like the kind of the uh, tones and everything of it are there's both you know warmth and coolness there and you know it just it can feel like that deep inside of your heart space where it's just like it's a nice temperature it's um you know it's peaceful it's all of those good kinds of experiences and feelings uh in one place and um really choosing that for yourself helps bring about more so-called good luck i mean you could say miracles you can call it whatever you want um and yeah there's nothing wrong with saying good luck right it's just that like i think good luck kind of implies that things happen by chance sometimes and uh, the more that you're on your spiritual journey the more that you uh, have seen or will see or both that that just you know that's not really how it, it works now i mean you're not like you can't just like predict everything that's going to happen to you uh you know like i heal this i'm gonna get this um not you know maybe like the bigger things like yeah you know you heal separation and 
you and your twin flame are in harmonious union okay but that could mean like a lot that can look a lot of different ways right and um so it's just safe to like make those uh, bigger choices and to accept the miracles along the way because when you have those bigger choices that you're making um you know like those kind of thematic choices uh in your life it helps you to align all of the other choices with that choice and i mean it could be anything it could be like am i going to get fries with this or not well actually this feels really bad right now because i already had fries today once and that was enough and uh, or you know it could be the opposite it could be like oh my god i totally want fries i feel like you know i'm telling myself i should get a salad but why don't i get both you know like i mean it just there's no like necessarily wrong or right answer for a lot of situations other than the good feeling and going with god there so one day it could be the fries you know the next day it could be uh the salad or just no side or whatever um, right, I mean, it's an example, so you, like, you could use a lot of different kinds of, um, scenarios for that. And same thing, you know, we're talking about with, like, the holidays coming up, well, it could be in your highest interest to participate, you know, in what truly feels celebratory, but something that looks celebratory on the outside, but doesn't feel so good. Well, look at that, because again, like, you know, saying good luck, uh, or wishing for good luck or all of these things it's really about like the good feeling like you are charmed you know like you just knowing that and embracing that and following that in your heart and tapping into your heart space there and look it even kind of looks like one um leaf of a shamrock i could see like one here and one here and one here so yeah you could see i have an imagination you didn't know so anyway that I feel like is complete for this reading how fun this feels just like very positive way to kind of ease into the rest of the week and going then into like well if you're in the US I mean there you're very you very well may be watching other places there's other holidays going on too but yeah like just starting to enter that holiday season for a lot of folks um so yes it's very good to like just continue to tap into the piece that's already and always available to you so that's gonna conclude today's reading and uh, check out the links below if you're interested in personal readings coaching and so much more then you're gonna enjoy browsing through that and yeah claim a coaching session claim a personal reading take that next step uh and get twin flames finding your ultimate lover if you don't already have it and if you do maybe it's time to pull it out tonight and turn to a chapter and you know read some of that uh book which is by jeff and shlia by the way but anyway that's all down down there so you don't need to try to remember what I'm saying. You can just look at the links below. And yes, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.